I want us to move beyond just the symbolic gestures and the nice words that this Liberal government has done again and again. We want real action. That is what justice demands. Jagmeet Singh is the one who called this emergency debate, and his sentiment was shared by all opposition parties, even those that don't always prioritize indigenous issues. That reconciliation requires more than important but only symbolic gestures. It requires action. It requires restoring trust in the federal government and its institutions, and it means building partnerships with indigenous communities for the well-being of all Canadians. Work with us to move swiftly on calls to action 71 to 76 by Canada Day. Let's have a plan to deliver, to deliver the true potential of this great country for all Canadians. The NDP particularly objected to the Liberals, despite human rights tribunal orders, fighting Indigenous kids and residential school survivors in court. But his government has been slow to act, including on calls to action 71 to 76. And in the midst of this debate, this government is fighting St. Anne's residential school survivors in court, a violent act of having people who underwent the most genocidal violence, still having to prove that violence, even today, this very day, where the remains of 215 children were found in a mass grave. Wednesday morning, federal ministers had a response. They are making $27 million available to communities to pursue further investigations. The money, however, is not new. It comes from the 2019 budget. It needs to be Indigenous-led, community-based survivor-centric in that community, as well as culturally sensitive. So we will be there to support the work in all the communities um, that affected by this, but it will be, we will make sure they have access to whatever expertise they need. But, but it, over the past engagement, it was very clear. They don't want a top-down approach to this. The minister said they will let communities determine courses of action, as these discoveries are not only crime scenes, but sacred sites as well. Jimmy Pashigam, Scum, APTN National News, Ottawa.